finish well. I feel like I need to tell somebody out there to finish the assignment the Lord has given you well. You cannot control people. You cannot control pastors. You cannot control board members. But what you can control is how you finish. You hear the Lord and you do what he told you to do and you do it all out as unto him. I want to get to the end of my life and say, Lord, I gave it my all. I gave it my all, Jesus. I laid everything out on the field. I gave you every ounce of my energy and effort. I did everything you told me to do. That's what I want, to get to the end of my life and say, Lord, I gave you everything. Don't you want to be like Jesus? He said, I have glorified you on earth. I have finished the work which you have given me to do. Have you glorified him on the earth? Have you glorified him through your speech? Have you glorified him through your attitude? Have you glorified him through your actions and how you represent him? Have you finished the work or the assignment that he has given you to do? And if you are in his presence and if you are abiding in him, he promises to abide in you. If you are drawing near to him, he promises he draws near to you. If you are gathered with two or more believers, he promises to be in the midst. If you go to your room and shut your door, he promises that he's there. Get in his presence and get an assignment from the Lord. Get in his presence and get the work he has set before you to do. Work his field. Don't just eat at his table. I feel like I need to tell somebody out there to finish well, to not quit, to not give up. The pastors out there that are listening to this, finish well. The business owners, finish well. The moms and dads out there, finish well. Whether it's the assignment, whether it's the season, whether it's the beginning of your life or the end of your life, finish well. And let me tune you into a little secret. The work he has given you to do will require work. What a shocker. Jesus said, I don't even have a place to lay my head. I remember an instance when he got out of the boat and he was so hungry, but the crowds came to him and he had compassion on them because he seen that they were sheep without a shepherd. This requires work. I've just crossed over into a new season of my life, but the last season I was a youth pastor and I watched God pour out his spirit like never before. I watched him do miracles like I've never seen. I watched some disciple students, but everything I witnessed was a result of hard work. That's why I love the Bible. It says, if you have the gift of leadership, take it serious. Take your assignment serious. Put in the work. I had to drive 30 to 60 minutes just to pick up students and 30 to 60 minutes to take them home. I was the last one at the church and I was the last one going home. It takes work, but finish well. Don't you desire to hear Jesus at the end of your life say, well done? Like in Matthew 25, verse 23, it says, His Lord said to him, well done, you good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Well done. I long to hear those words. But something has to be started in order for it to be done. You have to start the work he has given you. You have to start preparing the work. You have to not give up on the work. You have to keep your focus on him. Because he wants to say, well done. Being done is the finished product. Have you started what he told you to start? Have you been good and faithful to him? Have you been faithful over the few things? I want to finish well. I want to lay it all on the field. I remember my last year of high school football, my very last game, we were playing a team that destroyed us in the regular season. And I gave it all on the field because I knew that this could be the end. And I don't know if you've ever played sports before and experienced your last game, but that last football game, I was sprawled out on the field, exhausted, overwhelmed with emotion. But I wasn't defeated even though we lost because I knew that I gave it my all. 
that there was nothing else I can do to change the result. But here's the great thing. We are on the winning team and we could give Jesus our all. And at the end of our life, he can look at us and say, well done, my good and my faithful servant. You laid it all down on the field. There was nothing else that I had planned for you to do. And there was nothing else that you could have done because you were faithful in what I gave you and you finished the race. Come on, somebody. I want to finish well in the kingdom. Don't you want to finish well in the kingdom? Because he has placed works before you to do. There are crowns that he wants to give you. There are rewards that he wants to present to you. 2 Timothy 4, 7 through 8, it says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day. And not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. Mm. Paul is saying, I have fought the good fight. And my question, are you fighting? Are you fighting the good fight? Are you battling for souls? Are you equipping his army? Are you defending the faith? Are you reading the word and declaring it? Are you keeping the faith? of the Lord Jesus Christ, because there is a crown laid up for you. I want to be like Jesus and Paul and get to the end of my life and say, it is finished. I did it all. This was all for you. My life was an offering to you, a pleasing aroma. I love the unlovable. I did all you wanted me to do, Lord. Finish well. If you are young, finish your assignment well. If you are a pastor, do what the Lord has told you to do and finish well. If you are older in age, finish well. He's not done with you and do not quit.